Hello. In the library. Here. I just did some writing and some reaching out. A little bit of poetry. And uh, thought I'd have a little sip. There's my little uh, volcanic zafu. Or the volcanic zafu. That's here. So I thought we'd uh, have a little sip by the apothecary. Let's have, have a little sip on the bench here and uh, give you the usual look around there you know, some of the herbs and medicines and obviously a bunch of uh, you know drawers full uh, there's a you can fence on one we just had for somebody and uh, there's some vodka for Jow some herbs there's some herbs from Dale right there actually some herbs that were drying that we grew here some other herbs. But, uh, what do we have? Including our edgely. I'm just going to be in the distance, so. And uh, there's some more that we've grown here and prepared. Kevalo, neem, licorice, ginseng, burdock, arnica, comfrey. Some prepared. There's some uh, bag of Phoenix breath down there. And uh, some, uh, kind of look around and uh, so we'll see if we can set this uh, up here I'm just looking around for something that'll act as a little tripod these are a little box from La Cava here oh, let's see if uh, we'll look at the box here that show on the bench. Which means it should show me. <coughs> Lucky I almost sat in the Rui. And uh, <coughs> so I've been doing a uh, share of ministering the last few days and nights and early mornings and middle of the nights and middays and I'm pretty beat and it's not terribly late in the evening maybe 9pm or something I don't know and uh, been uh reaching back to people reaching out or reaching out to people who are open to being reached out to and making that plain or at least to me it seems plain
and uh, that means you know writing to them or calling or texting or connecting in some way, uh, lighting candles for them, opening up my own meditation space for them, connecting with other people. And some of that has been working with people that are uh, angry or sullen, acting out, suicidal, uh, destructive in less than suicidal ways. So we're working on that. I'm not here to complain. I'm just trying to contextualize. Just like I gave it a little tour. Just have a little contextualization. I thought it might be good to do a little meditation where I'm opening to a closed. I just feel I'll see a comment somebody made or see a message somebody sent me or hear about somebody from somebody that's uh, interacting. And I'll try to do my part to help them reframe things or touch in on something solid or loving. Uh, And it occurs to me that there may be, there like they are, some people that are not coming into my awareness because they're withdrawn, they're closed. Uh, they're not typing messages, they're not making posts on social media, they're not coming to class, they're not making it to their appointments and so forth. And so they might not have come into my attention and my attention has been drawn to the people who do seem present and so my efforts go there but if somebody's closed off in a we might say a, a, a forced A solace prison of their own, or a, or a, uh, a defensively hermit-like space. My read on it is that I don't have to go reach out for them and knock on their door and poke and prod and check on them. I might, but just generally speaking, I mean, I don't feel like that's. the appropriate thing but what I can do is on my side of things is open up space for them in a meditation So, how do I do that? Well, I think the way that we do that is not to uh, reach out in a young way, in a sort of per in a directed, sort of intent-filled, what, what feels to me like a spirited kind of way, even if it's coming from love or concern. Uh, it's not likely to engender an openness for them. And I'm going to excuse myself for a moment because I'm going to grab a tissue. I'm already out in my pocket.
and without tissues. So, since we have the benefit of this spectacularly informal uh, process of doing meditation videos, <laughs> I'm going to just step out of frame and blow my nose. step on the Rui that time. So, opening up to the closed off, which we're doing it in a grand sense because the closed off are many, they're not proximate. And their whole beings. Most often I'll do this sort of thing, uh, working on a part of myself that's closed off, or working on a client who's closed off, uh, let's say their, their shoulder, you know, often from an injury, so it's defensively closed off. But it's me working with somebody that's proximate, one person, one part of one person. So what I'm trying to do here is open myself to many whole people who are closed off and not present but again this isn't about results it isn't about completing a connection and then having communication or information it's just about doing my side so it feels a little bit like if you're landline I don't know why that's the reference. I don't know if people know what those are anymore. But if, uh, I guess we could say your computer, <laughs> that would work. Uh, let's say your uh, wire, your internet wire coming into the house is hit by lightning. Fries your computer. It fries the line. So you connect to the you know, internet service provider and they say we need to fix the line it's burned up and they schedule to come Thursday sometime between 1 uh, let's say Thursday sometime between 1 p.m. and 2074 uh, well you could wait for them to come and fix the line and as soon as the line's fixed you can't use it because you don't have a computer So what you can do is schedule the repair for Thursday and then head out and get another computer or fix your computer or whatever. So this is the sta stage we're at. We're at the stage of fixing, repairing, buying new, uh, placing, maybe even testing, uh, installing your computer. But it may very well be that the line doesn't work. Or it may very well be, to extend the metaphor, that the line works, but they don't have a computer installed. So this isn't about opening ourselves to somebody else so that we exchange information. It's just about doing my side. I'm getting my computer working, placed in the right place. And then when and if there's a connection between them, I know that my side is operational. I'm familiar with it. I know where it is, how to log in, how it works. So this is not a sort of goal-centric practice where you know, when I finish, I'll be able to communicate with somebody who's being insular. This is a meditation is... To listen into the heart, we can do this simply by physically listening to the heartbeat, that's a fine start.
I'll change the hand positions just so that uh, the heart is unobstructed or relatively so. Uh, where I had it, although you don't see it in your profile, but it wasn't very close to my heart. But I still kind of feel like I'm closed a little. And I want to emphasize the openness. So I'm going to hold out a little further. So I've been listening into the heart, and now I want to begin to listen out from with. I'm not listening for a certain something, just listening. From the heart, with the heart. And I may notice some occlusions or blockages or stagnations or tightnesses or defenses. I'm not trying to knock them down or set them aside or clear them out just now. Just trying to do what listening there may be. In doing that, I may notice my other work to take that armor down, to loosen those tightnesses. But for now, I'm just doing what listening I can do with and from my heart. Now I'm just going to rest into a relatively inaction practice of the prior two practices. A relatively inactive resting in of the twin practices of listening to the heart and listening from and with the heart. I can do that all at once and I can also just kind of bounce back and forth internally from one practice to another, or one emphasis of one practice to the other emphasis. So I'm doing the same practice, but less intensely, less sort of sharpness of intention. So this is the laid back version. And I'm kind of purposely letting my posture be unstructured here to help me get into that space without leaning my head a little That's it. I feel like I've installed that computer, that technology. I can come back and test it, and come back and reinstall it. And that's fine. And where possible, I can practice using it. You know, where there is a connection to somebody else. Or something else but this overall thing had been done <clears throat> with the purpose of opening myself for those that are closed so that should they connect they'll find me already connected
finish this up here. And, uh, enjoy the healing of the, uh, of the apothecary. So, uh, 